Hi, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 17th of October as we record this, and we're going to see pictures. A couple of them go all the way back to the 13th, but it was in the afternoon after we did a short take that day. And, uh, well, they were putting up lights on the 13th. That's what I made a picture of when I left here that day. And they're still putting them up. It'll be a while before they're all up. There's a uh, mist flower with a very interesting little butterfly, and there are two uh, of the uh, pearl crescents or crescent pearl butterflies uh, sharing a spot. I don't know what they're up to. That's a gray hair streak on mist flower, and that goes back to the previous week also, and will gradually come forward. But the mist flower is still in bloom so many places, and it's still got lots of butterflies and bees using it and these happen to be at world peace wetland prairie but you can find them in a lot of places for instance i visited joe neal today and and he's got a lot of pretty ones in his yard and that was the hair streak that's joe mosby at left and that's me at right and we were uh, co-conspirators with the arkansas gazette and even when i still worked at the democrat and he worked at the gazette as outdoor writers and editors. And so we uh, we go back all the way to the 1974 for sure as friends, and I got to see him. I went to Benton County to see him, and this is the tree giveaway on the square uh, This uh, just the weekend before the 13th. And you can see how happy people are to have trees to plant in their yards. The city provides those uh, once or twice a year celebration of trees in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Also, a few shrubs were included, but mostly it's trees. And the 99% uh, of what they had uh, were native species, including some cypress trees, which are native of Arkansas, uh, ball cypress trees. And Barbara's got one there. And uh, they're not native up here. There's Lauren Hawkins with one. So they're not being planted on the prairies where they would logically be if they were uh, along the waterways through the prairies. Up here, it's mostly willows and, and uh, button bushes and things are here. But uh, they uh, simply aren't native in the mountains. Well, in the background, you see Cindy Cope and you see some other members of the uh, tree and landscape or the uh, so-called uh, now uh, urban forestry committee and there is there are two famous musicians at right and the head of the park and recreation department was at left and there's Mayor Lionel Jordan and a very happy lady at the uh, she wasn't carrying any trees but she was there to pick out some now that was the uh, Occupy Fayetteville or whatever it was part of the Occupy uh, Wall Street uh, back up it, it's gone on in every city in america probably uh, and that was saturday morning after the tree giveaway after the celebration of trees some people did participate in both and i got pictures of both and don't have space and time to show you all of them but if you go online you can see all these many things and hundreds more <laughs> then i made a lot of photos on saturday there on the Flickr site uh, all of unique uh, Flickr site, and it's under uh, Fayetteville Square. So there you see some Omni members, uh, Corley Kuntz at left, and, and Gladys Tiffany in the center, who's president of Omni Center. And you probably know Joanna in the front there. There's a reason I hate to see those lights going up in the fall on the Fayetteville Square, because those the plants get wiped out. And of course, that was Saturday, and the monarch butterfly was using it. A bunch of them were there. There's a couple. They were they had been uh, for several activities. She's wearing a pumpkin shirt, and he's wearing something from the uh, uh, blues festival down in Helena. So, pretty neat stuff you see, and everybody's very diverse there. Till next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep water clean, air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd, and pictures on this uh, show are somewhat up to date. Uh, this this is made uh, 
since most of the ones on in a previous short take we did were made. This is, uh, first that was a rare bird, and we'll talk about it down a little later there. Um, that is a black swallowtail. And you say, well, all the swallowtails nearly are black. Well, that one's actually called a black swallowtail. And uh, it uh, is actually dependent on certain trees for its sustenance. It's, uh, I believe, let's see. No, no, th those are dependent on uh, things uh, such as, well, now I can't even say the word, so I got confused. I apologize. Uh, there's a uh, a monarch on Verbacena virginica, and uh, there is a snout butterfly, an American snout butterfly on Verbacena virginica, which is one of the plants that's known as frostweed because it has a winged stem. There's another in this species, uh, a similar species called called wing stem, and it's uh, a, a different Verbacena, it has a yellow flower. But uh, anyway, that was the snout again. Now, this is a rare butterfly. I think I haven't photographed one since several months ago. And I think it was a really hot day when I was photographing it before. And that is a great purple hair streak. Unlike the gray hair streak, this thing's practically black. And it's hard to decide why somebody named it purple. But it has a unique yellow or orange belly. You can see its belly under there. And uh, that makes it uh, very attractive, despite the, the darker color uh, overall wings that, that is not so exciting. So I made a lot of shots of that when I ch had a chance this weekend because uh, I hadn't seen one in a while. And I get worried that, gosh, did I see the last one out on Pinnacle Prairie this summer? But no, there were others. That's a question mark butterfly. It's not just the question mark whether I can uh, tell you its uh, its uh, Latin name, but it's a question mark because of the way it's shaped and so forth. And there's another, let's see, that's also the question mark. Yeah, there it is. And there you can see the, I should have done, maybe I have a close-up of that. I hope I, I did a crop, but I maybe didn't get it on here. Yeah, there it is. It's not a great one, but you can see the, uh, the way the top of the wings look. It's pretty impressive. Uh, it's spectacular almost when you see it sometimes in the sunlight. But anyhow, that's these are all from World Peace Wetland Prairie and on the morning of the 17th of October. And there were just lots of different butterflies using late asters and mist flower and, and a few other things still in bloom. Yeah, there's the question mark again. And maybe I've already passed the uh, Painted Lady or American Lady one is in here coming up, I hope, soon. Well, anyway, there's a um, evening primrose, a pretty common thing this time of year. They start blooming a lot earlier, and, and uh, in this case, they've hung on and waited for some rain. That's Joe Neal. He's taking pictures of through a telescope of a bird on that rock. And this was also photographed on the 17th of October, 2011. And I hope we're going to show you Joe's photo of that bird, which is the same bird that I photographed earlier in the day. Now, that Joe didn't make that picture. I did, but that that's a, I've named that uh, box turtle Little Joe Neal because it was in his yard. Anyhow, there is Joe's excellent photo of the uh, rock wren. The rock wren is a rare bird here because it's actually from uh, the west part of the nation, west coast almost, and uh, so when one's here, it's been riding ahead of a cold front or something, and that might be why we saw it, because there's one coming in tonight, and rain expected, and I'm afraid that bird will have gone somewhere else by tomorrow. Till next time, this is Oliver Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.